It's October 4th, 2021. Um, I was listening to the television this morning. They made mention of some girl by the name of Gr something Grisham. Now, I know there was a John Grisham. He wrote a novel called The Client. I don't know who this chick is or how she's related to him, if by familial name they are. But now... Um, she was talking, they were talking about something about the White House has a West Wing and an East Wing. Yeah, right? Okay. So, discovery date, October 4th, 2021. Still have no idea what that means. It sounds like, um, I mean, like, they're not really honest about it on television in New York. So I have no idea what the what that even means and what the west does and the east wing does i mean no idea that's like secret government stuff of like why does nothing work i don't know so now <clears throat> holographic universe if it's a square diorama with a circle inside and holographically, they call that a Super Watson IBM, S-U-P-E-R-W-A-T-S-O-N-I-B-M, which I know they have uh, in earlier catalog when shit broke, um, to bring up by holographic terms what just happened um, that got us to wherever we were. Um, the it looked like half of the sphere of the machine that's supposed to have the points of light powered properly um for like a tetra i mean i call it tetra chromonotron but it without the grammar um just being held in points of light <clears throat> for like almost laser laser certainty on axis and whatever. Um, when they pu pulled out, it was like a fuse that blew. Or like when a light bulb inside a lamp blows, like it never goes back. You can't repair that light bulb. You have to get a new light bulb, right? It was something along those lines except they needed to repair, and half of the sequence was blown out and gone. And I'm like, right, so why do you, if that's what brought us where we are, then why do we have to go make that hole again in, like, parallel dimensions? Like, if they were that horrible at running and managing the hologram and holographic universe, why would you give them a second chance? I mean, doesn't make sense to me. And I wasn't in the right area. And whatever was running it prevented me from getting to the right area for a whole host of dumb, useless human reasons. So now I'm part of a supercharged particle we call it super transformer because I'm a well, I'm a female and there's a male and then when we drop human looking whatever the two energy forms like they convalesce they they don't just uh, perturb or perturb one another they actually sink into one another and then become a larger form and then they're able to uh, dissipate and then have two different life forms so that's how I was built built into the system of holographic universe what I don't understand is why I'm stuck in Bayside Station Bayside New York in a century 19 born decade 7 plus 8 years led into a dangerous and painful graphic of Century 20 Fox.
So now, um, my left side of my skeleton, lateral in the, um, the joint, the hinge joint, is having a problem. The patella is being pushed off center and it's causing neuropic, neuropic pain in the, um, between osteocytes and, um, and dendrites, um, for nerve cells and neurons. Um, trying to think about this. So what I don't understand is who handles holographic universe and the what we call points of contention where they are anchor points into time and space where that's the main machine's function and that's why you have super transformers. Like how do you get to super watts and IBM level? Because I really don't care about like why would you ice out a female or what humans work off of on thought process. Um, the other thing is, is that in this area, they put these high transformers together, calling them cell towers. And all that's doing is messing with gravity and it's messing with radio wave frequency. So it sometimes feels like some waves are going this way and some waves are going this way. So there's like friction against my person, um, which it, it's, it's almost like a, a 10 layer cake is the way also you could think of it, where you have like the spongy layer and then you have like the mousse layer and then another spongy layer. It kind of looks like that, but they go in opposite directions and it's friction wise, it's really painful because nothing's tuned in sequence wise correctly in this urban area. So it hurts the anatomy as it tries to walk through it environmentally. Um, I'm trying to think of the last thing that was really important. Um, with the high frequency radio waves. Um, yeah, I'm at Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361. Oh, it also interferes with brain waves because brain waves work off of color photon spectrum. And right now, the microns in the sunlight category are tuned at an ultraviolet, like X, uh, yeah, X ray, gamma ray wave radiation level which um, literally can knock out the ability for your body, if your body's like an antenna or a conduit, receiving um, light sent photon messages. Um, these high power radio cell tower waves that are around here are knocking out the color photons from being in the right spectrum. So the brain wave pattern that your antenna is picking up gets changed and you become foggy like that's what uh, downstairs with the skeleton with the cobwebs near the skull uh, skull re region um, of the cephalic um, cephalic region which is the head region um, the cobwebs going over the skeleton and the thought process that's what happens when the eyes are receiving light waves that are not tuned into the correct spectrum, which is currently what New York is experiencing. Um, so it's hard to hold thought pattern. It's hard to regurgitate thoughts that you should be able to recall easily because um, it should be in like your cache, like stoic carry through. Um, but currently they're not working so well over here as far as diagnostics, but that goes back into, um, the holographic universe, um, which knows these things, but I don't know where they watch over these things. Now, secondly, in parallel dimension of actions in motion that I was brought into in this debris field of ORT, O-R-T, instead of O-R-B, um, 
when I got sent to debris field of ORT, um, the, um, when I first worked at Merrill Lynch and I took over Kathy Gorman's job for Peter and Sarah, and I was hired by Merrill Lynch in 1998, we had a designated customer service team where at Merrill Lynch, Pierce, Finner, and Finch, you would call, the customers would call in if they had a problem with one of their accounts or one of their trades or one of their whatever. We had Somerset, New Jersey. Whatever that means in actuality, it was a dedicated team of customer service reps, interior, in some, located in a distribution center, I suppose, of Somerset, New Jersey, that were really helpful um, and got to know our office, we got to know them, and um, they would help us with small problems that the clients were experiencing, whether it be with statements, uh, like their printed statements, whether it was with their, um, their trades or commissions were off or calculations were off or whatever the customer picked up or in problem solving, and technical issues <clears throat> being that we were on some kind of computer network inside Great Neck, New York, 11361. We were the 200 Middle Neck Road office. Um, I know that that was significant. We had an amazing customer service team back then. That's what we called them. Um, and then we were, I guess I was called a client associate back then. Um, or administrative assistant is what they called it. It was another word that they used for it. Peter was considered, I think back then, a vice president, um, which got confusing, but whatever. Um, so that's an important fact uh, with Holographic Universe and like, why was none of my mainstay issues resolved? Why am I still, even though Super Watson IBM knows that where I am at all points and that this has not corrected, why am I in a visual spectrum of light when I should be elsewhere? And it is so painful. Last night, my son Anthony my cat scratch that I gave birth to the Mayan calendar baby. I was laying next to him and now my legs and my knees and my feet have been popping while the floors in the apartment crack underneath my feet. My bones actually pop and crack as well. Less, but in my lower extremities. Yesterday, I, I rolled over and both of my shoulders popped and made a cracking sound, scared the bejesus out of him. He was just like, why is your upper body cracking now? He's like, "Was it? did I do something? You know, he thought he did something. So um, it's now a traveling problem, um, reaching my upper extremities. Star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Cataruza. It's Earth, solar system, Milky Way, universe, galaxy is broken.